I'm Song Jung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make Kalchi Jorim. It's a Korean style spicy braised belt fish. We had this in Korea in one of my Life in Korea series with a bunch of my friends. We went to Namdaemun Shijang, Namdaemun Market in Seoul, right next to Myeongdong, which is a popular crazy about street food. So, anyways, right next to the Myeongdong. And that place, Namdaemun, is super duper popular about this dish, that spicy braised uh, um, belt fish. My friends were asking me how to make that dish because they want to recreate at home. So this recipe is dedicated to my friends who went to Korea with me. So let's get started. This recipe is really delicious and I'm going to show you some of my mom's secret how to make it. The first thing what you need to do is prepare your belt fish. Um, you can easily find this belt fish in your seafood market or in Asian or Korean store. The best fish I'm using today is from Korea and they were frozen when I purchased because I couldn't find any fresh one but frozen is totally fine to use. The one thing I did with this best fish that I soaked them in the rice wine for overnight. I don't know about you but I am really sensitive about seafood smell especially fish smell so I had to go through that step to kind of get rid of all the you know fish smell but if you're not really that sensitive about it you don't have to go through that part. Another thing you need to do before you cooking the belt fish is get rid of the silver, you know, silver skin part. That silver skin part actually causes a strong fish smell and also it might cause your stomach ache. You don't have to completely remove but just try to scrape off. So here it is, my prepared belt fish. I'm using about half pounds of it and I'm just gonna set aside right here because we are going to make delicious belt fish braising sauce, spicy braising sauce first. So what you need is 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 teaspoons of fish sauce, 1 teaspoon of gochujang Korean red pepper paste. This is actually my mom's secret. She said you definitely have to add a hint of about a teaspoon of gochujang into the sauce. 1 tablespoon of gochugaru Korean red pepper flakes, quarter cup of rice wine, if you have a soju in your refrigerator, go ahead and use it. Or you can use regular grape white wine as well. To be honest with you, I'm not sure what non-alcoholic uh, ingredient you can replace with this rice wine. Because as I mentioned, I'm really, really sensitive about seafood or fish smell. And the alcohol is really must for my taste in this recipe. Because whenever alcohol is evaporates while it's cooking, it evaporates with those unpleasant smell from the fish. Now let's grate some ginger into the sauce. I'm just going to use my jester. You can use either cheese grater or your uh, citrus jester. You will need about a teaspoon of this grated ginger. And five cloves of garlic that I'm chopping right now. It's about one and a half tablespoons. And whisk the sauce all together. Alright, sauce is ready. Let's set aside right here because we need to prepare our radish. This is a Korean radish we call mu. Um, right now, Korean radish is actually in season. They are super sweet and crunch. It's just ridiculously delicious. Just peel the radish, slice them about three quarter inch wide and cut them into halves, like uh, little half moons. <laughs> we will need about a pound of radish, so I think I have a little leftover, which is I can kind of snack on. All right, so let's talk about the pot to cook this dish. You will need this wide surface, like a really wide, but like a little shallow pot. Place radish on the bottom of the pot. Pour three quarter cup of water, along with about three tablespoons of the sauce we made earlier. All right now, cover the pot and we are going to bring this to boil over medium high heat. We are cooking the radish first, so that way radish will all the way fully cooked like super duper soft and tender like you put your chopstick into it it just like break on you like that's the how soft you want the radish to be for this dish when the radish mixture is start boiling reduce the heat to medium low and simmer for 10 minutes meanwhile the radish is cooking i'm going to cut up some onion you will need about half of a large size onion and slice the two green onions into diagonal angle same thing two serrano pepper all right my radish has been simmering for 10 minutes now let's assemble the fish vegetables and the rest of the sauce 
place sliced onions on top of the radish, then prepare the belt fish. Pour rest of all the sauce on top of the fish. Increase the heat to medium high, bring it to boil. We are going to let it keep boiling about five minutes with no lees. So this way, all the alcohol and moisture will evaporate with the unpleasant fish smell to the air. All right, now let's add the green onions and the chili and cover, reduce the heat to medium low and simmer for 15 minutes. While simmering the fish and the vegetables, scoop the delicious goodness sauce from the bottom and pour over the fish occasionally. So this way, the fish will have a delicious flavors from the sauce as well. Now, increase the heat to high heat, uncover, and bring it to hard boil, and let them keep hard boiling for about three to five minutes. During the time, you know, keep scooping the sauce over the fish. Remove from heat. Ta-da! Oh my goodness, looking so delicious. Oh my God. Serve this with a bowl of warm cooked rice and some other side dishes. My favorite side dish with this is steamed egg like as we ordered at the restaurant in Korea. I also have that recipe. Please go check it out right there. I'm drooling right now and I need to taste it. You see, oh my God. You see how soft this radish is? Mm. So sweet. Mm. Get rid of the bones from the side first and get the meat as, as much as possible from the side bones and then you dig in the middle part of the fish. Ta-da! Ah, what a shame that I don't have any cooked rice at home right now. Oh my God! This right here is my fish. If you liked my kaiji jorim recipe, Korean style spicy braised belt fish, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sungkyung Longast, and this is Asian at Home. And I will see you next time. Bye!